Well, a very warm welcome to the November edition of our Market Wrap. Simon Pintado is my name from the Buxton Real Estate Group. Let's get stuck into it. For the month of November, it was the first month in a long time, probably two to three years, that we've actually seen the auction clearance rates drop below 70%. In fact, the average clearance rate for the month of November was around the 68% mark, which is certainly in an, in an indication as to the amount of stock that we've got on the market as opposed to the amount of buyers that we've got on the market. So basically, a lot of properties being auctioned on the weekend just passed. There were 1,800 auctions scheduled with a clearance rate of 67%, which obviously definitely means that the real estate market, as it always has been, is fueled by supply and demand. And at the moment, the supply certainly far outweighs the demand. What we've also noticed is that foreign investment has certainly dropped off a little bit. That is buyers from China actually coming to our auctions, bidding at our auctions and putting their hand up. Not to say that they're completely gone, but their confidence certainly has dropped off a little bit, which is definitely a bit of an indication that the money coming in from China, and that's obviously from things that are happening around the globe, is a little bit harder to actually get that money from China in order to buy property in Australia. The market sentiment out there at the moment and every phone conversation that I have at every open for inspection at auction negotiations is that, is the market flattening? That is a question that we get asked quite a bit. And I suppose my take on it, and again, this is a little bit of a prediction into the future, and it's something that I tell a lot of people when I deal with, is that we over the last probably 18 to 24 months have had probably 30 to 40% growth Melbourne wide. So. When the market does retract a little bit and the professionals and the experts are sort of saying that it might come back five, maybe seven or eight percent in the next six to 12 months, my prediction is that is probably the best thing that could be happening to this market because at the end of the day, we've had 40% growth in the last two years and if it does come off about 5%, don't forget about the 35% that we've already had in the last 18 months to 24 months. So. My prediction is things might sort of flatten out a little bit into the next six months, 12 months, but they already are at a heightened level as to what they were even two, three years ago. So you as a vendor, you are certainly in a better position than you were two years ago. As a buyer, for those of you who have been previously priced out in the last six to 12 to 18 months, now is certainly your opportunity to be putting your finger on the button, going full steam ahead and making sure that you're locking in a property now because what happens is when the market does come down a little bit, people feel that, people start making decisions. Once they start making decisions, the market can only do one thing. So for the month of November, while we did see auction clearance rates drop a little bit, we did find that there were one or two buyers for every property. But also further than that, we did have some very, very high end results and we still were able to break some records over the month of November. One really exciting property that was sold, in fact, it even made the news, was number 2A Collins Street in Ormond, a beautiful property sold in excess of $1.8 million. In fact, it sold for 1.825, which is a new record for a, for a townhouse actually in the McKinnon School Zone. Another really exciting sale that I was personally involved in was number 10 Maud Street in Ormond. 604 square meters of land, it was south facing, it was an original two bedroom Californian bungalow, pretty as a pin from the front but needed quite a bit of work. Sold over a reserve of 1.3 million, sold for 1.42 million with two buyers coming out of the woodwork on auction day and uh, a buyer that had seen the property, in fact actually lived one street away, purchased the property successfully and are gonna do a massive extension renovation on that property and turn it into what could be a potentially $2 million plus property. So what we found is that a lot of high-end properties are actually selling very, very well. In fact, we had a property in New Street in Brighton. It was a front townhouse of three and uh, actually facing New Street. It was purchased three years ago for 815,000. There was a $200,000 renovation done on that property and it sold on Saturday for 1.57 million. So some very exciting things still happening with good properties in good locations, still, still selling very well. So putting November behind us and looking forward into December, there will be three auction weekends where we still have a very high volume of stock being auctioned in the month of December. There's three auction weekends, as I said, the 5th, the 12th and the 19th of December. And following that, the market will basically shut down and it will shut down until mid to late January. So 
If you're a vendor looking to put your property on the market, you do need to set your sights forward to February. If you're a purchaser wanting to lock in a property this side of Christmas, certainly now and then the coming weeks is going to be the only time that you will be able to purchase a property this side of Christmas with only three auction weekends left for 2015. I will see you just before Christmas for the time being. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Simon Pintado from the Buxton Real Estate Group. I hope you found this useful and I will see you in a month.